Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explain the symmetry properties of boron trifluoride molecule. Before starting the investigation about the BF3 molecule, let's have a look on the shape of this molecule. Now, as this molecule is having three bond pair of electron and zero lone pair of electron. Because of this, the hybridization of this molecule is sp2 and the structure of this molecule becomes trigonal planar molecule this is the trigonal planar molecule now this molecule is planar meaning is that the molecule is lying in the plane of the paper let us start our investigation from the presence of proper axis of rotation so first of all we will search that how many proper axis of rotation is present in this molecule that is cn operation we will do cn operation in this molecule actually in this molecule two proper axis of rotations are present first we are going to search and we will confirm that is it there or not for this confirmation, let's draw the structure of this trigonal planar molecule, BF3 molecule. This is the trigonal planar molecule. Now we know that this molecule is a planar. So plane of paper is a plane of the molecule. Now one axis is present in this molecule, which is perpendicular to the plane of this molecule and passing through the center of this molecule this is the red line right and when we perform the c3 operation that is rotation by 120 degree about this axis then we get a new configuration of this molecule right in which each fluorine atom is changing its position with respect to the original one so let's suppose this is f1 this is f2 this is f3 and this f1 is equal to f2 and f2 is equal to f3 this is your f so when we rotate this molecule about this axis about 120 degree then we will see that f1 will come here f2 will come here and f3 will come here and this is the original structure and this is the new configuration we are getting after this rotation and then we are getting this that the new configuration is equivalent to the original one so it is confirmed that this molecule is having one c3 proper axis of rotation which is passing through boron atom and perpendicular to the molecular plane Now in this molecule, another symmetry element that is the proper axis of rotation is present, which is your C2. For getting the good idea of this C2, again redraw the structure of this boron trifluoride molecule, which is your what? BF3. Right, this is the boron trifluoride molecule. Now in this molecule, three C2 axis are present. Three C2 axis are present. Try to see this one. One axis, this one. One axis is this one. And one axis is this one. Right. When we perform the C2 operation about each C2 axis, then we are getting a new configuration which is equivalent to the original one right this is the boron this is the f1 f2 and f3 now we are performing the c2 operation that is what rotation by 180 degree about this axis which is present in the plane of the molecule and it contains the one boron atom and passing through the one of the fluorine atom 
so when we do the c2 operation then f1 position will remain unchanged and this there is a change in the f2 and f3 we will get this configuration b configuration when we do the c2 operation about this axis then again we are getting a new configuration of this molecule in which what happened the f3 position will not change but there is interchange of f1 and f2 and finally we are getting this configuration and when we perform the c2 operation about this axis then we are getting this configuration in which the f2 position is remain unchanged but there is interchange of f3 and f1 now we know that all the fluorine atoms are equivalent f1 is equal to f2 and f2 is equal to f3 and when we compare all the structure the new configuration that is b and c and d with respect to the original one a then what we find that this a is equivalent to the b this a is equivalent to the c this a is equivalent to the d so we know that in this molecule 3 c2 is present three proper axis of rotation is present which is your c2 and one proper axis rotation c3 is also present right and we know that this c3 is perpendicular to this c2 now in this molecule two proper axis of rotation is present so first of all we will decide that which one is the principal axis of rotation so we see that c3 is a high order of axis of rotation c2 is low order so c3 will be our proper axis of rotation sorry principal axis of rotation now we will search the plane of symmetry present this molecule the next part which we are going to perform which we will search which is the word plane of symmetry now as we know that this molecule is a planar molecule so I can redraw the structure of this molecule which is your what trigonal planar molecule BF3 right this is the F F and this is the F this is the F1 this is the F2 sorry this is the F1 F2 and F3 now this molecule is a planar molecule so molecular plane itself is a plane but this plane is a plane of symmetry or not so what we will do we will try to see the reflection of this molecule through this plane so after performing the reflection of this molecule through this plane then we are getting a new configuration of this molecule in which all the atoms are reflecting through this plane and we are getting a new configuration which is equivalent to the original so this molecular plane is a plane of symmetry now this molecular plane is a plane of symmetry but it is the horizontal plane or vertical plane we will decide this one so let's see that the presence of principal axis so now on this molecule again this is the principal axis which is perpendicular to this molecular plane so now this molecular plane is about horizontal plane which is about sigma h so this molecule have one horizontal plane which is the perpendicular to the principal axis of rotation now in this molecule three vertical planes are also present so i can redraw the structure of this molecule here and try to visualize all the vertical plane present in this molecule this is the bf3 molecule again this is the f1 this is the f2 and this is the f3 now all the axes are containing the principal axis of rotation now the first sorry all the planes are containing the principal axis of rotation this is the first plane right try to see this plane now the red one now this is our next plane blue one which is perpendicular to the molecular plane now third one black one this is also molecular plane the, sorry this is not a molecular plane this is the vertical plane which is perpendicular to the 
molecular plane and containing the principal axis also right so this is also sigma v dash this is also sigma v dash and this is also sigma v dash so when we do the reflection through each plane then we are getting the configuration of this molecule new configuration of this molecule which is like that so when we do the reflection through this plane then f2 position will not change but there is exchange of f1 and f3 when we do the reflection through this plane then what will happen f1 position will not change but there is a change of f2 and f3 when we do the reflection through this red plane that is sigma v this is also sigma v vertical plane then what we will get that f3 will remain unchanged but there is exchange of f1 and f2 so all the new three new configurations are equivalent to the original one so this molecule is having three vertical plane right and this three vertical plane passing through the boron atom and one of the fluorine atom right and bisecting the line joining two other fluorine atom and perpendicular to the molecular plane now third one improper axis of rotation now we know that in this molecule one c3 is present and one sigma h is present so this molecule is having one s3 which is your word c3 sigma h the fourth one in this molecule inversion center is not present 